वेलकम बैक माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद एपोमिक्सिस पिछले वाले क्लास में हमने एपोमिक्सिस देखी थी व्हाट हाउ यू कैन डिफाइन एपोमिक्सिस देन वी डिस्कस्ड वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन एगेमस फॉर्मी एंड इट इज वन टाइप नॉन रिकरेंट और गेमेटोफिटिक एगेमस फॉर्मी फिर हमने गेम नॉन रिकरेंट टाइप में हेप्लाइड पार्थिनोजेनेसिस डिस्कस की थी और हेप्लाइड एपोगेमी डिस्कस की थी ओके okay? आज हम स्पेसिफिकली बात करने जा रहे हैं रिकरेंट और स्पोरोफिटिक एगोमोस्पोर्मी की फिर हम डिस्कस uh, करेंगे डिप्लाइड एपोस्पोरी एंड डिप्लाइड पार्थिनोजेनेसिस विच आर इट इज टू सब टाइप्स तो फिर हम लास्ट में एडवेंट एम्ब्रियानी uh, को समझेंगे ओके सो इफ यू रिकेपलेट एपोमिक्स सिंपली मीन्स डेवलपमेंट ऑफ सीड विदाउट फर्टिलाइजेशन और सिंपली स्टेटेड इट इज़ अ वे ऑफ प्रोपोगेशन वे ऑफ प्रोप्रोडक्शन इन प्लांट्स दैट डज नॉट इन्वॉल्व मेसिस एंड सिनगेमी ओके सो लेट्स मूव डायरेक्टली टू रिकरेंट और स्पोरोफेटिक एगेमोस्पोर्मी सो रिकरेंट और स्पोरोफेटिक एगेमोस्पोर्मी इन दिस टाइप द एम्ब्रियो सैक डेवलपस फ्राम डिप्लाइड मेगास्पोर मदर सेल विदाउट मेसिस say this is diploid megaspore mother cell and instead of giving rise to four megaspores it directly gives rise to embryo sac okay without meiosis it gives rise to embryo sac or female gametophyte and all the cells of the female gametophyte they will be diploid okay har ek cell jo is embryo sac ki hogi they, that will be diploid okay or there is one more uh, one more way of producing the diploid embryo sac uh, that occurs when the nucular cells some of the nucular cells they directly give rise to the embryo sac which is diploid so either the diploid megaspore mother cell or the nucular cell they can give rise to embryo sacs which are diploid so you have the diploid embryo sac obviously the embryos that will originate from this diploid embryo sac that will be diploid so the embryo is diploid and hence these embryos are viable agar hum yaad dila de khud ko jo humne haploid ya sorry gametophytic agamospermi mein dekha tha wahan pe jo embryos the wo haploid the and these haploid embryos we are uh, i told you that they are non viable okay so embryo sac development occurs without meiosis either from diploid megaspore mother cell which is known as diplospore or from diploid nucular cell which is known as apospore and in both cases you have the diploid embryo sac now this diploid embryo sac it will give rise to embryos which are diploid and obviously these embryos will be viable now the question is why this uh, process is known as recurrent apomixis it is known as recurrent apomixis because here you can see this is the diploid embryo sac diploid egg diploid cnidids antipodals okay for example this diploid uh, egg cell it will give rise to embryo which will, which will form the diploid plant okay this diploid plant it can go through same lines in the next generation the same processes can occur so this is known as recurrent apomixis because this process can recur it can occur again and again and again okay while as in case of non recurrent apomixis the process occurs once for all ek bar hoti hai fir nahi hoti hai okay yahan pe kya hota hai this process repeats this go this process goes on repeating okay that is why this is known as recurrent apomixis for example main aapko bata do ये डिप्लाइड एक्सल ये बनाएगी डिप्लाइड एम्ब्रियो डिप्लाइड एम्ब्रियो विल फॉर्म डिप्लाइड प्लांट और इस प्लांट के फ्लावर्स में सेम प्रोसेस रिपीट हो जाएगी ओके सो द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ दिस स्पोरोफिटिक एगेमोस्पोर में इज डिप्लाइड एपोस्पोरी व्हाट इज डिप्लाइड एपोस्पोरी डिप्लाइड एपोस्पोरी मीन्स डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एम्ब्रियो from diploid cells of diploid embryo sac other than the egg cell you have this diploid embryo sac it is diploid 
say for example this antipodal cell which is deployed or this synergid cell which is deployed they give rise to embryos deployed embryos this process is known as deployed apospore if any cell other than the egg cell gives rise to deployed embryo this is known as deployed apospore and deployed apospore occurs in parthenium argentatum parthenium argentatum shows deployed apospore now the second type of this uh, sporophytic egg gamospermy is diploid parthenogenesis here you can see diploid embryo sac this is diploid egg diploid synergids diploid antipodals okay this diploid egg cell it gives rise to the embryo diploid embryo without fusion without fertilization and meiosis you have the diploid egg cell this diploid egg cell it divides it gives rise to the embryo which is diploid okay without fertilization and meiosis and this process has been reported to occur in rubus malus and poa now what is adventu embryoni adventu embryoni simply means development of embryo directly without the formation of embryo sac okay development of embryo directly without the formation of embryo sac from the diploid cells of ovule lying outside the embryo sac here you can see development of ovule from the diploid cells of the uh, sorry development of uh, embryo from the diploid cells of the ovule ye jo cells hai nucleus cells this represents the integument if the embryo development takes place from the cells of nucleus or from the cells of integument directly without forming the embryo sac this is known as adventu embryoni okay simple uh, i will i will repeat this definition it is a development of embryo directly from the cells of either nucleus or integuments without forming the embryo sac this process is also uh, named as sporophytic budding you have to remember this adventu embryoni is also named as it is also called as sporophytic budding and it has been found to occur in a number of plant species uh, including mangifera indica most of citrus plants euphorbiaceae cactaceae and orchidaceae families okay so in this process in adventu embryoni what happens is uh, the cells of the nucleus or the integuments they become active and start dividing to form a tissue mass which eventually enters into the embryo sac so the so some of the cells of nucleus they become active here you can see this mass of cells it has originated as a consequence of uh, divisions in one of the uh, nucleus cells okay it has formed a mass of uh, uh, cells and this mass of cells it finally enters the embryo sac it finally enters the normal embryo sac and results in the formation of an embryo <clears throat> besides these embryos in these plant species there is also the formation of normal zygotic embryos so you have the normal embryo sac okay that contains the diploid uh, zygote diploid zygote this diploid zygote gives rise to zygotic embryos and in the same ovule the cells of nucleus the nucleus cells they give rise to embryos okay they give rise to embryos which are known as adventu embryos so the question is how you can differentiate between the adventu embryos and the normal zygotic embryo the simple mark is while the zygotic embryos possess a suspensa the nucleus embryos the embryos that originate from the cells of nucleus they lack a suspensa okay this is the simple uh, identification mark the zygotic embryo possesses a suspensa while as the adventu embryos they lack a suspensa i will repeat the details of adventu embryoni in adventu embryoni either the cells of nucleus or the cells of integuments they give rise to embryos directly without the formation of embryo sac and this process is also known as sporophytic budding 
It has been reported uh, in a number of plant species, including Mangifera indica, most of citrus plants, Euphorbiaceae, Cactaceae, and Orchidaceae. In this process, what happens is uh, the cells of nucellus or integuments they become active and start dividing to form a tissue mass, which is, uh, which eventually enters into the embryo sac. Okay, and ultimately it forms an embryo. So there are a number of embryos. Okay, there are more than one embryos in the same seed. Uh, these embryos they have different origins. One, we have the normal zygotic embryo that develops from the diploid uh, zygote. Second, we have the embryos that either originate from the cells of nucleus or the integuments. Now the question is how you can differentiate between zygotic embryo and the embryo that has originated from the cells of nucleus. The simple identification mark you can remember is uh, while the Zygotic embryo possesses a suspensor, the nucellar embryo it lacks a suspensor. Okay, so this is all about the uh, adventure embryo. Uh, see you soon with a new lesson. Till then, take care.